little explorers. I'm Nabila the astronaut, and this is my trusty friend, Rover the robot. Today, we're going on a fantastic journey through our solar system to visit all the amazing planets. Are you ready to blast off? Let's go! First stop is Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and boy, it's hot here. During the day, it can get as hot as an oven, over 800 degrees Fahrenheit, but at night, it's freezing cold, dropping to minus 300 degrees. Brr! Mercury is also the smallest planet in our solar system and has lots of craters, just like our moon. Next, we're visiting Venus. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Even though Mercury is closer to the sun, Venus is hotter because it has a thick, cloudy atmosphere that traps heat. It's like a giant greenhouse. Did you know Venus is often called Earth's sister planet? That's because it's almost the same size as Earth. But don't be fooled, you wouldn't want to visit Venus. Its surface is full of volcanoes and the air is poisonous. Now here's our favorite planet, Earth. It's the only planet we know of that has life on it. Earth has everything we need to live. Air to breathe, water to drink, and land to explore. Plus, it's just the right temperature for us to enjoy. Where beep! Earth is covered with oceans, which make up about 70% of its surface. It's also the third planet from the sun. We're so lucky to call it home. Up next is the red planet, Mars. Mars is known for its reddish color, which comes from iron oxide or rust on its surface. It's like the planet is covered in a layer of rust. Mars has the tallest volcano in the solar system, called Olympus Mons. It's about three times taller than Mount Everest, and scientists think there might be water ice under its surface, which makes us wonder if there could be life on Mars someday. Hold on tight, because we're approaching the giant of our solar system, Jupiter. Jupiter is so big, it could fit all the other planets inside it. Its most famous feature is the Great Red Spot, a massive storm that's been raging for hundreds of years. It's like a giant hurricane. Jupiter has at least 79 moons orbiting around it. The largest one, Ganymede, is even bigger than the planet Mercury. Imagine having that many moons lighting up your night sky. Next, we're visiting the beautiful planet Saturn. Saturn is famous for its stunning rings, which are made of ice and rock. They look like a giant hula hoop around the planet. Saturn is so light that if there were a big enough ocean, it would float. And did you know its rings are divided into seven main groups? Each ring is made up of tiny particles that range from as small as a grain of sand to as big as a house. Now we're heading to Uranus. Uranus is a unique planet because it spins on its side, almost like it's rolling around the sun. This tilt causes extreme seasons that last for over 20 years each. Uranus is also known for its beautiful blue-green color, which comes from the methane in its atmosphere. And just like Saturn, Uranus has rings, although they're much fainter. Imagine seeing a sideways planet with rings. How cool is that? we're visiting Neptune. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun and is known for its beautiful deep blue color. It's also incredibly windy here. Neptune has the strongest winds in our solar system, blowing at over 1,200 miles per hour. That's faster than a jet plane. Neptune has 14 known moons, and its largest moon, Triton, is one of the coldest places in our solar system. Talk about a chilly visit.
Wow, what an amazing adventure we've had exploring all the planets in our solar system. Each one is so unique and fascinating. Thanks for coming along with us. Can't wait for our next journey together. Until then, keep looking up at the stars and dreaming big. See you next time, little explorers. Bye.